folks and welcome to Max Thrust RC and in this episode we're going to be putting together an Aerotech Cheetah which is quite a special rocket for me it's the first thing I got to introduce myself um, into mid-power rocketry ooh, all those years ago um, the first one uh, ended up getting lost on its maiden flight uh, it took off we saw it come down and then um, yeah never found it again it was a big mystery um, the second one was a lot more successful, uh, that had a, a, a few good flights on it, um, but eventually got lost in the course of uh, time, disappeared, got broken, thrown out, who knows. Um, so this will be Cheetah the third, um, which I'm hoping is going to have a much more illustrious and uh, successful long life. So, um, with that said, let's uh, go and uh, do something that's um, a bit new for my channel. I know some people like it, some people don't, so let me know what you think of it. Uh, I was going to do a, a quick unboxing of it, so we'll do that. Right, folks, here you can see the box itself. It's the, uh, the Aerotech Cheetah, uh, a nice picture on the front there, and uh, a few of the specifications down the side. Righty-ho, let's uh, open it up. <clears throat> And, uh, and this is what you get in the box. So you've got your uh, nose cone here, and that's all ready to go. I shall put that uh, over to the side. And then uh, you've got a whole um, bag's worth of goodies. It looks like we've got some uh, motor uh, tube adapter here, um, the hook, uh, which I'm going to have to um, I have to adapt that because as is the thing with most of my builds I'm going to be making it so that I can fit a slightly bigger motor in here than was really intended haha <laughs> uh, so uh, that'll be some fun and I'll tell you all about that uh, that is the replacement for the wadding so that just stays in there permanently I think that's a baffle uh, shock cord there and then some other uh, centering rings and the fins at the bottom so uh, you can see all that uh, good stuff a couple of launch lugs there as well Here's the parachute, just a, a small little parachute, uh, only 16 inches. So, yeah, that should uh, make it come down at a reasonable pace. And then let's open this bit up underneath here. And by the looks of things, we've got the main body tube here. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a decent size from one side to the other. And then I can hear something rattling around. Ah, yes. Here's the main motor uh, tube. So uh, that'll be what my 29mm uh, casing goes in. Um, I shall pop this over here. And then we've got some goodies in here as well. Let's have a look. Take that out. So here we go. Pop the main body tube over there. And uh, what have we got here? We have got some instructions. Um, and I'll give you a, a sort of look through those as well so you can see uh, what's to do in the build and uh, so you get a good idea for it so I'll pop those over there and then here we have what looks like some decals yes so uh, there they are right well I hope you found that interesting and uh, I shall now show you a quick uh, scan through of the instructions and I shall put the rocket together <laughs> Righty ho folks, here it is, a completed Aerotech uh, Cheetah, uh, obviously without the paint and decals. Um, so here we are, slight from the back, you can see the motor uh, tube is fairly far recessed in there. I've modified it so, um, that is part of the design, but I've modified it so that my 3 grain 29mm Cesaroni case will fit in there uh, without any issues at all. Uh, here you can see the fins with their nice aerodynamic shaping got a couple of launch lugs on here as well um, the fins are oh, it's brilliant you know with the fin lock system you literally just um, plug them in with a bit of glue on and that's your lot you know it's so simple quick and easy to do uh, it really is and uh, all the way up the condition of the body tube was excellent and uh, here's the nose cone up here um, and it was all really really good quality um, yeah absolutely fantastic can't fault the kit so far um, obviously I'll give you my final opinions as we go along but um, yeah there it is in all, all its glory so next up I shall uh, paint it 
Right folks, here we are. Cheetah 3, fully assembled and painted and lacquered and everything else. Um, yes, Cheetah 3, as I say, it's because this is the third one of these rockets I've had and I'm hoping this one's going to be uh, a lot uh, more long-lasting than the other two, which I'm sure it will be. So, let's give you a close-up look. So far, I mean, obviously we haven't flown it yet, the quality of the parts, the way in which it fits together, there's the motor tube there with the hook, um, all the way down the nice body tube and then you got the nose cone end up here yeah everything absolutely fits together like a dream it really does um, so top marks for that uh, the only thing that will um, make it better is if we have an absolutely awesome flight so I'll show you what motor I'm going to be using for its maiden and we'll go from there Okay, folks, here you can see the motor I'm going to be using for my Cheetah's first flight. It's uh, just a Pro 291 grain, so quite small, you can see, in comparison to my finger. Um, it's an F59, so uh, 57 total there uh, in Newton seconds, and uh, that means it's going to be slightly under a second burn time. That should look pretty good and, and give it some decent performance. And on the subject of performance, let's go into Roxim and see what we're going to get. Alrighty folks, here you can see we're in Roxim. I've got my Aerotech Cheetah loaded up down here. Right, let us prep it for launch. Display engine list and let's go down here. CTI F59 White Thunder. Okay, uh, let's go for something like 9 and launch and we'll see what we'll get. Okay, it's thinking about it. And there we are. So it says a maximum altitude of 1,660 feet, which is pretty good. Uh, a little under 300 miles an hour, uh, about 17 G, nine and a half seconds to apogee, pretty decent delay, and uh, altitude at deployment a little uh, over 1650. Optimal delay 8.45. So uh, yeah, nine should work out quite nicely for that. Well, that's what we'll set, and let's see if that's what we get. That had some acceleration on it. Right, folks, as you can see, that was a very successful maiden flight on a little F there. And uh, I got the altimeter 2 in it, so I know the data went to 1,400 feet and 260 miles an hour, uh, which is pretty good, really. So I'm very, very happy with that. The parachute came out right at Apogee as well. So what have I got to say about this rocket? Well, it was absolutely great having the old girl back again. Uh, again, here's some uh, some close-ups, uh, the burnt motor in there. And uh, yeah, she, she flies just as well as I remember. Absolutely solid. So if you're looking for a first rocket to get you into mid-power rocketry, then seriously look no further because um, it's absolutely ace. And it's nice to have her back in the collection again. 
uh, especially since uh, Sky Shark's recent death. So have a look uh, at that video on my YouTube channel as well. Um, check it out, it's pretty spectacular. It was raining rocket. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. And um, again, if you, if you enjoyed it, please do rate, comment, and uh, especially subscribe, as that makes me very, very happy indeed. Thank you very much for watching Max Thrust RC, and I'll see you next time.